G'day, welcome back to the second video in the series on moderation. Last time we talked about moderating a live stream and showing you practically what we do on the screen with the tools that YouTube have given us. Today, we're gonna to look at how you can use the Stream Deck made by Elgato, whether you've got the hardware version or you've got a soft uh, app version on your phone, how you can drop comments like a boss and moderate in that manner. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, you might want to be dropping the streamer's common links. You might want to be dropping a common direction to the people in the chat, whether it's to a, a questionnaire form, whether it's to merchandise, other links, or whether it's a, an instruction that you have to give often, like reminding people not to spam. Uh, you can have those all preset up as a program button on the Elgato Stream Deck. Now, this will work in other hotkey type applications and hardware as well. I'm gonna show you specifically for the Elgato Stream Deck. So let's get on over and check it out. All right, we're here on my Mac, but you could be on a Windows computer, it doesn't really matter. First of all, what you wanna do, if you've already got your Stream Deck installed, so make sure that you've installed the download and installed the software for the Stream Deck. So I'm assuming you've already got the Stream Deck in place. So we're under that assumption. So the first thing you wanna do is open the Stream Deck configuration software and then click configure stream deck and open up your window now i have the 15 key version so you can see here it gives me a visual display on the screen as to what is currently on my stream deck now if i change scenes on my stream deck that'll automatically jump to a different uh, stream so what we're going to do is i'm going to pick a blank page we're going to open up just a brand new page for this demonstration you can see some of my live streaming things here i'm going to pick say this one in the corner and I'm just gonna tell it that it's a new folder. So let me just grab that from the Stream Deck menu. Create folder, drop that in there. It's a new folder, so we're gonna go into there. We've got a blank folder now. What you're gonna to need to do this is really, really simple. Under System here, you've got a number of options, which is like setting up a, a, a key to go to a website, uh, what a basic hotkey switch, something else called hotkey as well, open text and multimedia what we all really need to do and all we need to do is use the text function so i'm going to click on text well, i'm going to drag the text up and drop that in the first box there now you can see down the bottom here it's giving me a system thing now i can give it a what a name it whatever i want of course so let's say i'm streaming this is a stream for george smith who I moderate for. Now, I don't moderate for a George Smith, I just made that name up. So we're just gonna make a fictitious streamer that I might be moderating for. So we wanna maybe, George Smith would like to, us to be able to drop his merch link in the stream because he's very fond of promoting his merch. So we just give it a name like George Smith Merch. Now down in the text section is really simple. You just type the message you want. So you can say, why not check out why not check out George's merch? And then we can drop the, min the link to it, uh, the full link. So HTTP colon slash slash. Obviously I'd copy the link in. I wouldn't be typing it out from scratch. It might be like a, say it's a um, Teespring. So it might be www.teespring. Might be teespring.com slash. G-E-O-R-G-E-S-M, something like that. So basically we've got a hyperlink, HTTP, colon, slash, slash, www.teespring. So we put whatever message we, we need here. Now the key to remember is the comment section on YouTube is limited to 200 characters. So when you're setting these up, make sure that you check down the bottom here where it says uh, 70 or 500. Now Stream Deck allows you to put 70 characters in the text but remember, YouTube's got a limit of 200, so we can use this counter just to make sure that we stay under the 200 limit that YouTube has. Now, I've only hit 70, so that's fine. One final thing we need to do here, to lock this in, we wanna have it so we press the button and the comment pastes and posts in the chat. So the last thing we need to do is check this box here, press enter after message. It's basically going to take the text, type it in, automatically and hit enter for you and that automatically allows the message to appear in the chat 
All you need to do now is maybe customize the button to look how you want it to look. See at the moment where I've written George Smith merch, it doesn't even fit. So I'm gonna change the text part. So it's there, you might wanna use a picture for that or just a colored background. Let's just add a colored background real quick. Uh, set from file. I've got some colored backgrounds in play here. So let me just find one. Let's just use this dark blue one here. So now we've got a colored background key that says George Smith merch. It's there. It's on my stream deck here as well. I can press that in a live stream and that will automatically paste. Now, George Smith isn't a real person. He doesn't have a live stream. I can't test it there. But you might have seen in the previous video, I might have included a shot where I've actually pasted a comment using the stream deck. You might have seen it go in, but you may not have known that I've actually pasted in with stream deck. You can maybe, there's some B-roll showing you that right now. Now this is the reason why we have to do it this way is because we cannot use the integration option, say the YouTube chat message integration option here, because that hinges on us having backend access to the YouTube account and will then make it look like we're posting from the streamer themselves. So we don't want that to happen because it's you as a moderator that's posting, not the streamer. See, if I do that, it'll try and post it too my YouTube account based on the settings there. So we don't want that at all. So you can't use that. And the same goes for if you're streaming to Twitch. Twitch has a chat message option as well. And it basically works the same way where it's linked to the account that you've linked your Stream Deck software to. So in my case, it's linked to my Twitch channel, not to George Smith's Twitch channel. So it's as simple as that. Just click the text option under system drag that over to an empty square on your stream deck, give it a title, enter the message, check the box that says press enter after message, tidy it up and you're ready to go. It's super simple to get it done using the Elgato stream deck, whether you've got the physical one or whether you're using the stream deck app on your phone. It's gonna save you hours of time moderating in the live streams on YouTube. It'll work on Twitch as well. It'll work wherever you might be moderating on the interwebs. And if you want more information about moderating on YouTube in particular, make sure to check out this playlist here. It's gonna really help you out. This is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube, and we'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Houston YT for more tech for content creation.